Yeah, Shalom, um, Ravi Rami are coming again with a quick lesson. It's going to be a quick one. Um, all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, Hashem, Makakadash. A double honor to the Apostles and the Elders at Great Millstone. A salutation to the Akimah, they are pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Um, I haven't got a title for this lesson yet. You know, it will come after. But I pretty much know through the Spirit where it's going, okay? Um, it's focusing or it's built off a line from the book of Exodus chapter 12 and 11 and you notice that the brothers and I myself have been making a lot of videos pertaining to the Passover because we're in that period man okay the Passover is quite it's quite soon man not many days from now okay and um yeah just thinking of a topic and the Lord gave this to me so I'm gonna pretty much put it down in video format and put it out there this is the book of Exodus chapter 12 and 11 and thus shall we eat it talking of the Passover okay and thus shall we eat it with your loins girded your shoes on your feet and your staff in your hand and you shall eat it in haste that's the point you shall eat it in haste it is the Lord's Passover it's your house Passover okay now the reason why um, you were to eat it in haste is because that same night, later on that night, um, the death angel, which is Yahweh Shai, would come and destroy the firstborn of every living in the land of Egypt. Okay, but the children of Israel had that uh, mark of the war, which was the blood on the doorpost and lintel. So the death angel Yahweh Shai, when he saw that, he passed over those houses and went to the houses that didn't have the blood of the lamb okay which would have been the egyptians and everyone else that didn't do that okay so like you so that's why the lord passed over the children of israel okay and we had to eat it in haste because the women didn't have enough time to put leaven in it in the bread because we had to eat lamb and bread all right and bitter herbs we didn't have um the women didn't have enough time to put leaven in it otherwise they wouldn't cook so we had to bake the bread without leaven so it was flat unleavened bread okay so we had to cook it in haste and we also had to eat it in haste and be ready to get up out of egypt man okay because that night the lord would deliver us from the land of egypt so we ate we ate it in haste for that reason okay but if you look at that on a spiritual side why do we eat this roll in haste and now i'm not talking of the physical passover service i'm not talking about the actual lamb and bread i'm talking about yahweh shai himself okay i'm talking about the bible itself which is the role okay because i believe it was the prophet um ezekiel was told to consume this role man eat the role all right now why do we eat the role in haste we eat the passover in haste but why do we have to consume this truth in haste because there's not a lot of time before the Lord comes, man, and and, and and passes over and delivers the hopeful elect and then destroys the rest of everybody else, man. Okay? So we got to eat this Passover in haste, man. We got to eat this truth in haste. We got we ain't got, we ain't got you know, time, all right, to this year I'm going to focus on the laws. Then next year I'm going to focus on... Uh, Actually, so like, yeah, this year I'm going to focus on um, the dietary laws. The next year I'm going to focus on the social laws. The next year after that I'm going to focus on the feasts. Then I'm going to get into the Gospels. Then after the Gospels I'm going to go back to the history. Then after the history I'm going to go back to the, to the end. You ain't got that kind of time, man. you got to learn everything together at the same time. Not rushing through so you don't understand. Learn at your own pace, but you gotta have a sense of urgency. That's eating the Passover in haste. That's eating, that's consuming this role. I'm not talking about the role, I'm talking about this word, this truth. You gotta consume it in haste, man. Because the Lord is around the corner, man. That's why we're bidding, calling as many people as we can to the marriage, man. To understand this truth, to get locked in, to understand. To understand, to, to, uh, to overstand, to obtain this knowledge, man. Get this pearl, get this coin, okay? 
Now this is the, a precept for that is the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse twenty-eight, and it says, "For as it was your mind to go astray from the Mosai, because that's what we did. We went astray from the Mosai. You know, we set up these other religions, um, Catholicism, uh, Islam, followed these other Kemetic gods. We followed these all these other philosophies. So it was our mind to go astray from the Mosai." So as it says, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him ten times more. The Lord has been gracious and merciful unto us to to um to uh, what's the word I'm looking for to to give us back this knowledge in this time period. All right, starting with Elijah the prophet coming back. <laughs> That's another topic. I'm not going into that today, and then. The elders, the priest, the high priest, and the elders, the apostles, and then the men on down, man. Okay? So being returned, seek him ten times more. That scripture, here again, a sense of urgency. You ain't got time to leisurely seek the Lord. I'll, I'll search and seek and find as and when I feel like it, man. See, if you've been open up to the truth, you've got to be diligent, man. You want to seek him ten times more. That You need to, you need to be working in overdrive, man. Because as Apostle Taha said, when you come into this thing, you, you got to be in overdrive. And after, when you get seasoned in this thing, you can put it in cruise. Now, it doesn't mean you're going slow. It means you already got that momentum, but now you're cruising at that speed. But you initially got to be in overdrive, man. You got to be pumping that engine, man. That spiritual engine. You got to be, you got to be really putting in the coals, man. So the fire stays hot. That goes back to consuming this role in haste. Once again, not only do we eat the physical Passover in haste, but we eat, we, eat, we consume this whole role, which is this truth, this Bible, this knowledge in haste, man. Because the Lord is, is here, man. He's round the corner, okay? John chapter 6, verse 35. Yahushua said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger, and he who believes in me will never thirst. So that bread, Yahweh Shai is the, is the Passover. He's the unleavened bread because leaven represents sin also. So the fact that it's unleavened, that means he's the sinless sacrifice as Yahweh Shai. When he came as Yahweh Shai, he was the sinless sacrifice, the lamb without blemish, as it says in the, in the, in the, um, in the stipulations for the Passover in Exodus 12. Now, he was paying for his sins in his past life, okay, as well as the rest of Israel, but as Yahweh was shy, he did no wrong. That's why the thief on the cross that made it, that was sealed, he said, we are paying our, our just sins, but this man, he has done no wrong. And he said, Adanya, which means my Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Yahweh Shai said to him, what? Um, today you will be with me in paradise. Because they both died, so their spirits went back to the heavenly father. So today they he was in the kingdom. That means that male factor is saved. Okay, he's a part of the elect. And as a side note, he didn't put in no work. All right, but he had a sincere heart. Okay, so along with putting in the works, you have to have a sincere heart. Remember that. Okay, but the point is that Yahweh said to them, I am the bread of life. That bread is the unleavened bread we eat. Okay, he is the sacrificed lamb. One year of no blemish. That means he had no corruption, no sin on him. As Yahweh Shai, when he came as Hamashiach, he never had no sin on him, man. He was carrying the sins of his past life and of the rest of Israel. But as Yahweh Shai, he had done no wrong. He done the work perfectly. He is the perfect example. So him being that bread, it goes back to Exodus 12, man. Where it says, eat it in haste, man. We've got to consume Yahweh Shai in haste. We've got to consume the message in haste. We've got to preach the message in haste. Okay, this ain't time to be relaxing, man. We're, we're on fire, man. Okay, and that's the attitude you've got to have. 1 Corinthians eleven twenty six. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he comes, man. So every time we um, rehearse the Passover, right, uh, we're shewing the Lord's death till he comes. Because when he comes again, we got that new Passover in the kingdom. Going to be the Passover out of this bondage. The Americas, Europe, and wherever the elect may be scattered across the four winds of the earth. Alright. 
So out of that Passover, we now get Ephesians 1 and 5. Having predestined on us unto the adoption of the children. Because we, we went away, as it says in Baruch, all right? Uh, was it 4 and 18? 4 and 28, we went away. Now we're back, we seek the Lord 10 times more. So Ephesians 1 and 5, having predestined us unto the adoption of children. That means we are being adopted back to the Most High, man. Because we went a whoring after other gods, as it says in the scriptures. But now we've been adopted back to the Most High. By uh, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach to himself. That means he brought us, he brought us back to himself. That's redemption, man. Buying back monetarily. Okay, according to the good pleasure of his will. So it was all predestined by the Most High's will. Yahweh has got the blueprint. Okay. So that's the message, man. Eat this roll in haste. Not only a physical Passover, but this word, this truth. Eat this roll in haste, man. Because there's not much time left, okay? So with that, um, I'll give all praises to the Most High. Kau Hala Yahweh Bashem Yahshai Bashem Raka Kadash Wabarak Kau Akim And double honours to our apostles, man. And Shalom to the sincere um, Akim and the hopeful elect. Shalom.